Meteorologist VNA Rana joins us now with a full look at our microclimate forecast. We're still a week away from ringing in the new year, but how will this Christmas forecast be? Yeah, we're starting at a little rainy, Kira. So Merry Christmas to you, Kira, Merry and of course your family. And Feliz Navidad if you're watching from home. Thank you for joining us on a rainy Christmas morning. Live look right now in downtown San Jose. Yes, we are expecting to see this rain really all day long and satellite radar right now even detecting a couple lightning bolts just off the coast so we are going to see the chance of thunderstorm activities as well so let's zoom this in using our mobile doppler radar storm ranger now if you live in the north but you've been seeing this steady rain really since late last night we did get a little bit of a break yesterday evening from all of the rain but we're going to continue to see this pushing through today pushing right now through nevada up through mill valley and then if i zoom this in a little bit closer taking a little bit of a break through san francisco we're going to get light to moderate at times and right now Milpitas getting a little bit of that rain starting to move into the San Jose area. Now as far as temperatures go right now we're in the 40s and the 50s to start and we're not going to warm up by much this afternoon. Here's a closer look at your daytime high. So a colder day today we're going to only top out at about 52 degrees for San Jose, 51 in Oakland, 52 in San Francisco and only in those upper 40s for areas like Santa Rosa, 48 degrees. Now Nap of 49. All right, so let's talk about the rain and exactly what we're monitoring heading into this afternoon. So we are going to expect sort of this on and off again all day long widespread rain. Notice the timestamp right here up here at about 530. We do get also still a ton of Sierra snow. So we're going to continue this all the way through tonight. Also, it is expected to get a lot colder heading into Sunday and Monday. That could mean some uh, snow for our local hilltop areas. Overall, we could see the chance of ice isolated flooding. The concern here is that it's been raining so much that a lot of the soil is really loose out there. So that could make for quicker concerns when it comes to a chance of isolated flooding and also small hail. There's plenty of instability with this colder storm where we could see a chance of thunderstorm activity. As far as rain totals go, anywhere from about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch to a little bit higher in some of the hilltop areas, pushing through Christmas Day and also into Sunday. We've had a pretty active weather pattern and I do want to give you this quick look at Lake Tahoe. It's about 26 degrees. And again, if you haven't made it up there just yet, look out for those windows of, you know, opportunity right now. We're still expecting to see gusty winds and that snowstorm move in. So you don't want to head out now. It'll be too dangerous. Now heading into today and Monday, we're going to get a couple more inches of snow. But if I push this timeline forward a little bit more, we've been talking about the several feet of snow that are expected to remain in our forecast for the next seven days. So let's take a look at the seven day outlook because our temperatures are going to get pretty cold around here. We're going to go from upper 50s to only the 40s and it's going to get cold, especially Monday night into Tuesday with the cold from passing through. That could bring us some low snow, a mix of showers. And yeah, we're only going to be topping out at about 44 to 42 degrees on Tuesday and Wednesday. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Stay dry. Merry Christmas, VNA. Thanks.